Welcome everybody into this new video from Shopify. In today's tutorial, I'm going to track you. I'm going to help you how you can install the Facebook Pixel and your Shopify using the conversion tracking. It's really simple, guys. The first thing you need to do is to have here your Shopify website. As you can see, I have my website. I have my setup guide. I've already installed some product, customized my theme, created my logo. So if I go into my online store, it might be looking a little bit um, easy just for the purpose of this tutorial make this uh, tutorial I just make this website real quick but as you can see it, it looks um, so easy as you can see it's right in here uh, this is the name of my brand so what I want to do is to link a Facebook pixel so Facebook pixel is gonna be helping us um, to track how many people are inside uh, our website how many people clicked in our website on work where does the traffic comes and it's really really uh, helpful to have that information into our Facebook uh, account so first of all we need to have a Facebook business account and in order to have that we need to have Facebook already linked into our account so what I want to do is to go into my Facebook and I want to go into the page section and create a new page so once I fill into that I want to put for example here the name of my brand which is sounds I'm gonna go into category for example I'm um, so as you can see for the purpose of this tutorial I've just created here my I just created here my page my Facebook page real quick. Um, just now what I want to do is to go into a new tab and look for the business manager Facebook, which is Meta Business Suit. So once I hit in there, it's gonna be asking me to get started. So I want to hit into get started. I'm gonna click in there. It's gonna be redirecting me into the business.fabus.com. So I want to go into continue. Uh, we can create posts, schedule posts. I'm gonna go into done. It's gonna take just a second in here to set everything for us. I'm gonna put this just at the right corner from the Shopify, which is right in here. So now that we have here our account, we want to select this option. It says sound good store. So we can create a business account in order for creating a sub account from ad and we can add some Facebook pixels. So, so let's get into create a business account. All right, so let's say that now, for example, here I have my Meta Business account. I'm gonna go and create a first one, my first account. Now it says create your contact information. I strongly suggest you guys to put in here your first, your last name, just last uh, legal name, so you don't have to be um, with any trouble um, speaking about billing questions and all that. Now, if you're willing to use a business name or you don't have a business email, you can just go ahead the one that you just use for your Facebook profile. So I want to go into my temporary email. Now here it says, what do you want to claim into business account? Claiming your Facebook pages and Instagram accounts. You can manage that into a business account. As you can see, I only have a Facebook page. So it's okay with that. I'm just going to stick with the Facebook page. I want to go into next. And if you want to add someone else in here, you can do that in here. But in this case, I won't do that. I'm going to go into skip or go into next. And then I'm gonna hit into confirmed. And it's gonna take just a couple of seconds in here. Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna be redirecting me uh, into the business. But now we are inside of the profile here. So as you can see, it says sounds good. And inside of my sounds good, I have my Facebook page. So I am I now into my business account. So what we want to do now in order for creating a Facebook pixel here is just to go and create some ads actually some ads so i want to go into the ad section and as you can see it says you're ready to create your first ad i want to go in to get started now before i go and create and get started in here this is just for creating some ads um you can create a facebook uh pixel ad. you can create a facebook pixel in here or you can go into the ad account settings so there we're now being redirected into the ad settings as you can see, we can open an account in here. So for example, I can use uh, account rows. So I'm gonna go into add people. I'm gonna go into here into these three dots that are in here, three lines, three arrows. It says all tools. Now what I want to do is to go into the events manager. Now it says, welcome to events manager. I want to go into connect some data in here. If you want, you can uh, select here your website. You can go into connect. And now it's going to be showing me create a pixel in order for creating some events in here. So let's say you want to name your pixel uh, it's the same name you have here in your Facebook page. It says sounds good. So for example, I want to select sounds good. 
and now it says check for partner integration so if you want to enter website URL you can do that uh, let's say you want to go into my Shopify once again it's gonna take just a second in here and what I want to do is to copy my custom URL that I have here into my online store so I need to go into my sale channel and here I want to click into the online store and I want to click into view your store so I can see my URL which is which is which is actually right in here now it says conversions API and metapixel metapixel only in this case let's try to use the metapixel only because speaking about the conversions of API uh, it's gonna be helping us uh, sending data directly through the API connections but that might be taking just a few more steps so I choose the first option I want to go into connect my data in here I want to go into connecting here my web here's my pixel in here so now what I want to do is to go into my data sources in here now as you can see my pixel has been already created here so I want to continue the pixel setup I want to go into next I want to go into next once again and I want to look for a partner in that case let's try Shopify as you can see it's right in here now that we select that option it says connect your Shopify account to Facebook so we can either complete the setup to Shopify and see the instructions so I'm going to click into see instructions it's going to be redirecting us into this article here from Facebook is going to be helping us right away how to do that so actually actually it's really really easy the first thing you want to do is to go back into your Shopify here into your online store and what you guys want to do is to go into the apps so in here I want to look for the Facebook application I want to look that into the app store uh, Shopify so it's gonna be taking just a few seconds in here now as you can see how the Facebook product feed they have a Facebook uh, Google shopping we want to look for this one that says Facebook channel I want to select that option I want to go into add application and once I hit there what's gonna happen next is gonna be asking me to allow to add that sale into uh, to add that application into my online store so we're gonna allow that it's going to take just a few seconds in order for uh, making the installation. So it says start selling on Facebook and Instagram. I want to go into start my setup because we already have a Facebook account, a business account, and we already have and created a pixel. So I want to connect my account. It's going to be popping up a new window where I have to log in into my Facebook. So by default, I must have my account already open. So I just need to click into continue. I'm going to keep into allowing here now what's going to happen is going to be asking me for the business assets as you can see now we have the business uh, asset already in here it says sounds good store our facebook page so i want to hit in here and go into connect so that's the reason why it's really important guys to have already your ads account your business manager already created here into facebook so you can do this a little bit more faster now what i want to do is to go and says create new uh, pixel as you can see this one has been already created but um, it seems like the Shopify created uh, their own pixel so it's okay for that I'm going to confirm and lastly I want to agree to the, to the terms and conditions of Facebook so I can submit that for the review now it says it might take up to a minute for us to proceed the information you submitted please do not refresh the page while your shop is being created so just let's wait just a couple of seconds here how are you going to make sure that your pixel is now working but well, first of all you need to go into the ads manager and once you find that you want to look for your events manager or on the advertise section so once you are in here what you guys want to do is to look for your events your custom events so here we are into events manager overview and now what i want to do is to go here into my data sources in here as you can see this is the sound good pixel so let's say i want to copy this pixel now the data source in here it says 87 if i go back in here as you can see this is the pixel that actually it's been uh, already successfully done here so what I want to do is to go into my test events and try to enter my website to see if it's working right now but so far our pixel uh, has been already set for a Shopify we now need to wait till the confirmation of the application uh, it's already been successfully done so we can start selling uh, our shop into Facebook but uh, meanwhile our um, Pexel has been already set so just in case if you have any question guys you can leave it down below in the comment section 
Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this business, facebook.com and or if you want to see more about this Shopify applications. So just take in mind here, for example, it has to appear the website, has to appear the pixel and it has to appear the two integrations. So if I go into manage integrations, I have the conversions and the browse pixel. Two of them are already active. So once again, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comments. It's been a major pleasure, guys, and I'll see you next time.